All right, guys, today we're going to do a capacity test on the King's 24 amp hour power pack. Um, I've charged it up overnight. So, yeah, we'll see if we can get close to the 24 amp hours. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, got me capacity tester here set up, ready to go. So, we'll plug it in. Looks like. The, this is just straight from the battery packs by the looks. With that in mind, you don't have to turn it on from the actual power point from the button. <coughs> Alright, it's showing 13.2 volts. Let's get this thing started. Just going to run this test at 2 amp hours, which is about there. So we'll let this run and we'll get back to you later. It's um, been just over an hour now, an hour and eight minutes, and we've drawn 29 watt hours so far. And still saying four bars of power on the power pack. Quick update, it's been five hours and 23 minutes. We've used 183.6 watt hours. I've bumped up the amps to 3 amps just to speed things up a bit. And we've got two bars left on the power pack. By the looks of it, it's um, not a regulated uh, 12 volt output. You can see the voltage here is drops as the battery drops. So I'd say this is just connected straight to your BMS on the pack here, which I would have preferred if it was a regulated output, but is what it is. Okay, the test is finished. It's taken eight hours and 10 minutes, 282 watt hours and 23.36 amp hours. So a little bit under what it's rated for, so whether whether or not that's the whether or not that's the BMS protecting the battery, but just so you know, I thought it'd be interesting for anyone that's looking at getting one of these. That's my unit, only pulls 23.36 amp hours. For those who are interested in buying one of these, I brought this from four-wheel drive supercenter for $269 Aussie dollars on sale so just for anyone that's interested so what are your thoughts on this unit um, something that you'll consider buying or not let us know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching bye